welcome to Trailer Sodes episode 27. I'm Kelvin. Hello, Robert. Today we are tackling the insane mind of Rob Zombie's Three from Hell. Um, this is a third of his uh, Hellions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he calls them, but uh, those three from the House of the Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and now three from Hell. God damn it, sir. I'm under the impression after watching this trailer that he's just filming stuff films. <laughs> <laughs> This felt like I don't want mean to I don't want to just sit here and criticize it, but it felt like a like a fan made, like they just took bits from other movies and just put it together and then played some. You know, it doesn't feel like a like a a, a really cohesive trailer. Yeah, because some I don't know stuff if that was modern. Some yeah. looked like it was clipped from the eighties or later. Like yeah, I thought maybe they were trying to go with like a like an older like grindhouse type feel or something but even that even then like no it, those were better like I, I feel like this this doesn't, this doesn't quite get it it just feels like a poorly made fan made and maybe the movie is going to be better I'm not I don't know but I mean the trailer in itself doesn't get me excited to yeah. watch this movie I, think I love it, her laugh I think it kind of <laughs> she, yeah she used that <laughs> we've heard her laugh before that is his wife right if I'm not mistaken yeah I believe that is his I believe that is his wife yeah. and I th- and I actually she's done other movies with him and I but I really do like House of a Thousand Corpses I know that's not everybody's favorite horror movie and the first time I saw it I actually remember it because I was sick and I remember I had taken a bunch of cold medicine and I sat there and I was bored so I like I went to the, the movie theater to watch it and I had a great time and since then I've watched it and still still enjoy it I'm not such a big fan of uh, the second one though that was Rejects and yeah I don't think that one was as successful or even yeah. felt, felt right to me but the first one's awesome if you guys haven't seen it uh, this one like we're, that we're reviewing now I don't know I don't I don't <laughs> I don't think it looks that great to me <laughs> But I'm happy that he's making another movie with those same characters from that original movie that I love. But yeah. I don't know. Created his own little uh, murder verse. <laughs> <laughs> was it the one? Was it a House of a Thousand Corpses where the guy pulls the, the gun on the clown and he's like, fuck your mama? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That was a good opening. <laughs> How long is a piece of string? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, yeah. I. I I enjoy, I really enjoy uh, directors and writers with a personality and a voice of their own. They don't uh-huh. really just write to everyone else. Um, and he kind of, he does that well with his movies. It was, it's kind of hard to watch, like when he did his Halloweens, like uh-huh. his dialogue doesn't quite work <laughs> uh, for me anyway. Um, but yeah, in, in this setting, I, I love to hear his his mind work, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, but I have to agree with you. The, the, that trailer is all over the fucking place. Um, I do like the idea of, like, it opens with them being rushed to the hospital after being gunned down. Um, uh-huh. And they kind of miraculously heal, you know? Uh, but then from there it's kind of like what yeah it's just a, it's just a bunch of flash of imagery of them yeah. doing stuff or being weird or saying something you know how they talk it's it's not I don't know I don't think it's a good trailer so <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have been more successful if they didn't show who it was about in the beginning just mm-hmm. maybe show them getting rushed to the hospital but you don't see their faces so you don't know and then maybe show some some uh, if you wanted to show like they showed a bunch of graphic violence or whatever and then all of a sudden you, you see them you know, slowly revealed that would be more, you know, impressive of a trailer for me. Yeah. But this one is just a bunch of, you know, just a hodgepodge of, <laughs> of you know, them. And then it's okay. Danny Trejo I, working I hope, the field. <laughs> but do you want to, but after watching that trailer, do you really want to watch, sit through like an hour and a half of just more of that? Because that's what I feel like you would have to sit through. You'd be like, well, if I go see that movie, I would have to sit through an hour, like an hour and a half of this flashy imagery and better take some shrooms know, first yeah <laughs> nonsense <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna hold my true opinion into a red band trailer okay. so I'm pretty sure hopefully 
it'll bring things more together because his movies are so graphic that I think we saw all that we could without it being. <laughs> that is, that <laughs> you know is what a I mean? possibility. Yeah, that is a possibility. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you here, though. This this trailer is not really making me want to run out and go see Three from Hell. I love that title, though. Um, it makes me want to watch House of a Thousand Corpses again. <laughs> Fuck your mama! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, for sure. Same here. Cause I have not visited those, neither one of those last other two for quite some time. I uh, probably 100% will before I've watched this mind trip. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, check that trailer out. Um, I'll get it put up on on uh, the sites. And that is trailer sodes for today. I'm Kelvin. Hello, Robert. Go watch some trailers, people. <laughs>